It's time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Thursday, October the 3rd, 2019, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Funeral service for Donna Guerin, the mother of Lee Walker, who, of course, is our athletic director, head football coach here at Muleshoe High School, will be held Saturday, October the 5th, this weekend at 10 a.m. Uh, that morning at the Memorial Park Funeral Home at the Chapel of Memories in Amarillo. That's 6969 I-40 East, Amarillo 79118. Uh, Donna died on Monday, September the 30th. Donna Gail Blanks Garen at the age of 77. She was born to Leroy and Yuva Duckworth Blanks on July the 15th, 1942 in Amarillo. She grew up in Amarillo, graduated from Tascosa High School, and attended West Texas State University in Canyon. Donna loved to read and watch sports, especially the Dallas Cowboys and the Texas Rangers. She was very proud of all four of her grandchildren. She enjoyed watching them play sports and graduate high school. She was filled with joy when they graduated from college. Three of them are married, one with three children, and all of them succeeding in life. Donna was preceded in death by her father, Leroy, and husband, Brian. She is survived by her mother, Yuva, her brother, Bobby, and two children, Lee Walker, and his wife, Sonia, of course, of Muleshoe. So please keep them on the, this family on your prayer list today. Uh, she is also survived by her grandson, Trent Walker, who is also an assistant coach here in Muleshoe, along with his uh, wife, Liz. Please keep the Walker family on your prayer list today as our athletic director at Muleshoe High School head football coach Lee Walker's mother died on Monday. Her, her funeral services will be held Saturday, October the 5th at 10 a.m. The, uh, at the Memorial Park Funeral Home Chapel of Memories in Amarillo. That's 6969 I-40 East in Amarillo, Texas, 7911A. Please keep uh, the family of Donna Guerin on your prayer list today. There will be a memorial service set for Ted Millen, who grew up here in Muleshoe. Of course, earlier in September, we had a full obit for Ted, but the memorial service has been set for here in Muleshoe on Saturday, October the 5th at the Center Point Church, 521 South 1st Street, it will be at 11 a.m. That's, again, a memorial service set for Ted Millen on Saturday, October the 5th at 11 a.m. at the Center Point Church here in Muleshoe, 521 South 1st Street. Well, it is time now that we talk about the weather and the weather forecast brought to you here on Channel 6 by K&K Pharmacy. First, a message from our sponsor. K&K Pharmacy right here in Muleshoe at 1411 West American Boulevard where Christine K or any of their helpful employees want to help you get rid of your weekly pill box. Find out how K&K Pharmacy can simplify your meds with the K-Pack Custom Medication Packaging Program available now at 1411 West American Boulevard. Call them 806-272-7511. K-Pack Custom Medication Packaging available now at k and Pharmacy, where they can simplify your meds and get rid of your weekly pill box. Well, we've had quite the week here in Muleshoe and the whole entire South Plains and Panhandle areas as we've had lots of rain as it started just after 10 p.m. Monday night. And, of course, that rain, some of it got into the September rainfall totals up until midnight. In fact, at the Muleshoe Mesonet, we might want to tell you that September ended with 4 inches and 11 one hundredths. September uh, total monthly rainfall at the Earth Mesonet, which is next to Tolk Plant, had three inches and 80 one hundredths. But as far as the week goes in total, beginning 10 o'clock Monday night here at the National Weather Service Station, we read the uh, our rain gauge every morning at 7 a.m. Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. We had two inches and 49 one hundredths. Wednesday morning, we had two inches and 61 one hundredths. 
Then Thursday morning at 7 a.m., we had 17 one-hundredths. And this morning, so far, we've already had seven one-hundredths of an inch with rain. Uh, Chances continuing throughout Thursday during the day and through the evening. So we'll see what we wind up with in total. But here, as of 10 a.m. Thursday morning, we have five inches and 34 one-hundredths on the week here at Channel 6. At the Mesonet uh, site two miles south of town, the Muleshoe Mesonet site on the week has five inches and six one hundredths, and the Earth Mesonet uh, station next to Tolk Plant has four inches exactly on the week so far. So uh, we'll continue to monitor that and update you. You can see our great video that we shot on Monday night and Tuesday during the day of some of the extraordinary flooding going on, especially in the New City Park, brought to you by K&K Pharmacy on the front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com. But again, five inches and 34 one-hundredths of rain so far this week, a huge rain event for Muleshoe and anywhere in the South Plains and Panhandle regions to get five inches in just around three and a half days. Showers and thunderstorms are likely today. Some storms could produce heavy rainfall today on Thursday. We do have a flood watch in effect until 7 p.m. this evening. Our high today will be only around 64 degrees, so much cooler today as we've been uh, around in into the 70s uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Our high Monday was 91. Tuesday the high was 72, and Wednesday the high was 78. So much cooler today with a high around 64. Northeast winds around 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain today is 80%. 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms tonight on Thursday night, mainly before 4 a.m. Cloudy with a low tonight around 55 degrees. Northeast winds between 5 and 10 miles per hour. So really uh, fall-like weather temperatures here on Thursday. Tomorrow on Friday, somewhat warmer. A 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms linger. Tomorrow during the day, mostly cloudy. High around 74 degrees. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Then Friday night mostly cloudy low around 58 sunny on saturday warming up to 80 degrees no rain chances in the forecast beginning this weekend and for the next several days so we'll hopefully dry out somewhat over the weekend south southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest saturday afternoon mostly clear saturday night low around 50 east winds 5 to 10 miles per hour mostly sunny on sunday high near 75 degrees east winds 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming north in the afternoon then rain chances back in the forecast sunday night a chance of showers and thunderstorms mostly cloudy low in the 40s around 46 degrees so that's the first we've seen of a low down into the 40s will be sunday night so look for that Monday, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms again, mostly sunny, high near 67. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming south-southeast in the afternoon. Monday, Monday night, partly cloudy, low around 48. Tuesday, mostly sunny, high near 74. Tuesday night, mostly clear, low around 52. Wednesday, sunny, high somewhat warmer, around 79 degrees. And Wednesday night, mostly clear, low around 50. K&K Pharmacy has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. Again, big rain chances, 80% during the day today. On Thursday, a flood watch in effect for Muleshoe until 7 p.m., then a 40% chance of rain tonight. High should be around 64 today, low 55. Then tapering off on the rain chances into Friday, a 20% chance of rain during the day. High 74, low 58, no rain chances Friday night. Saturday, Saturday night or Sunday during the day, so maybe we'll dry out as our high should be on Saturday around 80 degrees, low around 50. High Sunday around 75, low Sunday night around 46. Then storm chances enter back into the forecast, slight chance Sunday night and Monday. K&K Pharmacy has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. 
We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments. This edition of the Mule Train news is brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Take control of your First Bank of Mule Shoe debit card right from your smartphone with the My Mobile Money app. It's customizable card monitoring and controls that help you manage your accounts with My Mobile Money app. You can set interactive controls to help monitor activity and prevent unauthorized use. You can turn your card on or off, set alerts, and deny transactions based on merchant or transaction type and location. Monitor and control dependent cardholder usage. Receive notifications of possible fraudulent transactions and take action. Deposit checks through your phone. Download the My Mobile Money app now at the App Store or Google Play. For more information, you can also call the First Bank here in Neilshu, 806-272-4515, or go by 202 South 1st Street, the First Bank right here in Neilshu, offering the My Mobile Money app. Available at the App Store or Google Play, call the First Bank here in Neilshu, 806-272-4515, or go by 202 South 1st Street, the First Bank, member FDIC. Liao, pure yummy goodness. They have cheese, 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 and more cheese. Mexican food is tested to the limits once you get into Liao's. Come to 1010 West American Boulevard in Muleshoe, Texas to get the best Tex-Mex from around the world. Check out the gigantic sale going on now at Tattered Tumbleweed 1405 West American Boulevard in Muleshoe, Texas. Take anywhere from 15 to 50% off nearly all their stock, like all home decor pieces. Mark down 50% off now. Boots and shoes for men, women, and kids mark down 30%. Kids' clothes all mark down 40% off. Women's and men's short sleeve shirts marked off 40% as well. Tatter Tumbleweed's brand new stock of women's Wrangler jeans marked off 30%, as well as all jewelry marked down 50% off. Take 15% off all winter wear, including these great new kimonos, women's fleece pullovers by cinch, mud pie, long sleeve shirts, and coats and vests. All of their hats are slashed 40% off, and their billfold, wallets, and knives 20% off. Plus much more, all at the gigantic sale going on now at Tattered Tumbleweed, 1405 West American Boulevard, 806-272 Mule. See their expanded selection of tea towels Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. And they're also open on Saturdays, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. at Tattered Tumbleweed in Muleshoe, Texas. The Muleshoe High School Junior Class is having their annual gourmet frozen cookie dough. Uh, pie and cheesecake fundraiser they will take your orders through tuesday october the 15th you can contact any junior class student or any of their sponsors victoria bomer kelsey jones adrian ross april smith or elizabeth walker you can call the muleshoe high school office also to place your order or get in contact with any of these sponsors at 806-272-7303 they'll take uh your um Orders also through email at a smith. Uh, that's April Smith, a smith at muleshoeisd.net, or e Walker Elizabeth Walker at muleshoeisd.net. They have for sale, and these will all be arriving before Thanksgiving. Uh, in the sixteen dollar tubs of gourmet cookie dough, they have milk chocolate pecan c- candy coated chocolate bits, triple chocolate. Gourmet white chocolate macadamia and cranberry with white chocolate chip uh, cookie dough tubs at $16 a piece. In the gourmet pies, they have cherry pie, pumpkin pie, pecan pie, French silk pie, and country apple pie. Also, in the cheesecakes, they're $20 uh, per cheesecake. They have New York cheesecake, turtle cheesecake, strawberry swirl cheesecake, key lime cheesecake, and they are all pre-sliced 32-ounce cheesecake uh, that come also in time for the holidays before Thanksgiving. Again, call 272-7303, Muleshoe High School, or speak with any MHS junior student or one of their sponsors, Victoria Bomer, Kelsey Jones, Adrian Ross, April Smith, 
or Elizabeth Walker. That's the MHS Junior Class Fundraiser. Well, we just launched our Sweetheart program featuring Eddie and Gail Morris on their 50th wedding anniversary, and we shared it on our Facebook pages. Lots and lots of comments from people, so make sure to go back and look for that. Uh, we released it on Tuesday on our Gillam Facebook along with Channel 6 Muleshoe Facebook. Thanks so much to Don and Donna Locker as they sent to us an aerial picture from Tuesday that Don took while he was flying of uh, uh, the flooding that you can see in the new city park that's on our Facebook pages along with our Twitter feed as well. We hope you understand we left town last week to go and be with Peyton and his family in Wimberley as Isla, uh, uh, the youngest uh, niece, celebrated her 10th birthday and we had fun in, uh, enjoying that with her. And we also got to see uh, Julia, the older niece, march in the Wimberley marching band and that was a lot of fun Friday night we did wait until uh, Tuesday to get up our football game from the Muleshoe versus Idaloo game along with our church programs from Sunday all were put up uh, late last week but they're all up and running now find them free of charge on demand on our website MuleshoeTV.com uh, as well in our feeds on the TVs at the Senior Center at Main and Avenue D and in the West Sunroom at the Parkview Nursing Care Center. Well, we're sad that we're losing Karina Reyes already as the chamber manager, but glad as she has accepted a position for the director of the Muleshoe Economic Development Corporation at City Hall. So uh, glad that she is taking that position, and uh, it is a move up for her, and she will be great in that position. They'll have to replace her uh, as the manager at the Chamber of Commerce, but uh, she has accepted a uh, position on the board of directors at the Muleshoe Chamber of Commerce along with Londy Blackwell of Jade Gypsy and so congratulations Karina Re Reyes for moving up from the Chamber of Commerce manager to the position at City Hall as director of the Muleshoe Economic Development Corporation we know that she will do a great job Today at the Bailey County Senior Center, 319 South Main Street, or Main and Avenue D on that big corner at the Oneida Wagner Senior Citizen Center. They'll be playing bingo at 1 p.m. They'll have fitness fun Friday morning from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then Eric from United will be there to speak at the Senior Center at noon. On Monday, uh, October the 7th, fitness fun again, 9 until 11. They'll have a board meeting of the Senior Center at 12.30 p.m. Yoga for Seniors will be held at 1 p.m. The Jenny Slippers will meet at the Senior Center at 12.30 on Tuesday, October the 8th, and then they will work on making Christmas cards with Gina Martis at 1 p.m. Tuesday afternoon. They'll have a per personalized fitness program, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Wednesday. They'll have Loteria at 1 p.m., then Bingo again next Thursday at 1 p.m. on October the 10th. That's what's going on this next week at the Bailey County Senior Center, Main and Avenue D. Sunday, October the 6th. The First Baptist Church will join with uh, Trinity Christian, First United Methodist Church, and to have their Discipleship Now joint worship um, service. It will be at the Muleshoe High School, Carry Moore Auditorium at 11 a.m. Regular classes will uh, for Sunday school will be at each church uh, beginning 9.45, 9.30 until 10.50 a.m. Then they will meet at 11 a.m. Sunday morning, October the 6th, Trinity Christian, First United Methodist, and First Baptist Church in a joint service at the Muleshoe High School Auditorium at 11 a.m. Discipleship now for the kids will be on Friday, October the 4th at 4 p.m. at the Muleshoe High School Auditorium. Going on, of course, we have a bye week for the Muleshoe Mules uh, football, uh, and they will take um, part, get back into district action next week. But the Mules and Lady Mules will be in action for cross country at Abernathy this Saturday, October the 5th. 
The Mules fell to Idaloo last week and brings them at the halfway point to 0 and 5 on the season. A rough start for the Mules, but see if they can put something together for district as they'll begin next week on October the 10th, um, or excuse me, October the 11th and next week on Friday at Littlefield at 7 p.m. Then the next week after that, they'll take on Shallow Water here in Muleshoe. They'll be on the road the third week in district at River Road at 7 p.m., then uh, November the 1st at Slayton, then finish up the season November the 8th on senior night here in Muleshoe against Bushland uh, at 7 p.m. So good luck to the Mules on the rest of the way out as they will begin district next week a bye this week you can see the highlights of mule shoe versus idaloo on the front page of our website right now muleshoetv.com brought to you by mule shoe isd hereford feed ingredients burton service center the first bank barrett potato farms mcdonald's restaurant mule shoe animal clinic mule shoe vet supply mule shoe housing authority Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Mohawk Auto Parts, Wilson Drilling, Leal's Tortilla Factory, WTG Fuels, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, Scott's Car Wash, along with Irrigation Pumps and Power, and CHS. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. Since 1925, AIM Bank is proud to be one of the largest locally owned and operated banks in West Texas. Our expert bankers have an in-depth understanding of the local economy, and we are proud to provide our customers with quick local loan decisions. At AIM Bank, we know that strong local partnerships are crucial for growth and success. Investing in you has been our focus from day one. We provide the latest in technology for your online and mobile banking with features like mobile check deposit. At AIM Bank, we care about your accounts as much as you do. So we pride ourselves on real personal attention because we are also your neighbor. We invite you to come in and experience the real personal attention AIM Bank has to offer. We want to know you because we live, work, and raise our families right here in Muleshoe too. AIM Bank is committed to making a difference in the communities we serve. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Help us welcome to Mule Shoe Dr. Kenneth Burke. Kenneth Burke DO is now practicing full time in the medical clinic of Mule Shoe and is ready to see patients for an appointment. Call today, 806 272 7544. Dr. Burke was born in De Leon, Texas, and went through Corpus Christi and Lubbock on his path to Muleshoe for his undergraduate training. And then in the U.S. Navy, he was responsible for mobilization and security of the medical and chaplain team. Shawnee, Georgia for medical school, and then Jersey City, New Jersey for his medical internship and family practice residency. Welcome to Muleshoe. Dr. Burke, he's purchased a home here and ready to make Muleshoe home again. For an appointment, call the Medical Clinic of Muleshoe, 806-272-7544. Help us welcome Kenneth Burke, D.O., to Muleshoe. Well, the Muleshoe Heritage Foundation met earlier in September. On September the 12th, a group of citizens met at the Heritage Depot and elected six new board members. They're Scott Miller, Rhonda Myers, Greg Byers, Darlene Henry, Jesse Montiel, and Kenneth Henry. The new board, along with Sheila Stevens and the vice president, met on Wednesday, September the 18th, and elected officers. They are Kenneth Henry, the president, Sheila Stevenson, vice president, Rhonda Myers, the treasurer, and Darlene Henry, the secretary. They voted to start getting repairs done. Painting started with the Santa Fe Depot first to be done. And then the paint being changed on the yellow jacket and the schoolhouse started plans for a big fundraiser and an annual fundraiser to be held. They asked that if you will send in your $24 annual membership dues, they're due this month. And you can see Kenneth Henry or Sheila Stevenson about getting that uh, due in for this next year. And uh, they're up and running again. The uh, president of the board is Kenneth Henry, vice president Sheila Stevenson. Rhonda Myers, the treasurer, and Darlene Henry is the secretary. Other board members are Scott Miller, Greg Byers, and Jesse Montiel. 
On our bargain basement today, needed shoe boxes for mom's Sunday school class. Call 806 272 4989. That's needed shoe boxes for a project for mom's Sunday school class. Call 806 272 4989. Megan Reynolds. Need to hire a garden backhoe about for an hour's worth of work and suit in at the old motel. Call 806-227-2214. Also, they have for sale a 98 Pontiac Grand Prix for $3,000. It's in good condition mechanically. Call 806-227-2214 or go by the old motel on the edge of town in suit in. On your prayer list today, please remember Judy Lambert. At our last report, she had fallen yesterday and was admitted into University Medical Center in Lubbock. Uh, Also remember Robert and Martha Joe Black on your prayer list today, Paula Benton. Juanel Gable needs to be on your prayer list today. Don Williams and Pat Nichols, Patty Kent, Matthew Alicon always, J.W. Harrington, Butch and Judy Cox. Tanya Crawford, Marshall Nan Head, Sally Ellis in the Parkview Nursing Care Center, along with uh, Robert Hooten, who's in our Parkview Nursing Care Center. Remember his wife, Maureen. Chad Bell needs to remain on your prayer list today. Linda Stovall, Scott and Gail Oliver, Terry and James Byers, Robert and Maureen Hooten, Jack and LaVon Henderson, Gail and Eddie Morris, Joe and Donald Phelps. Jimmy Alicon, who's in hospice care. We'll see and Mary Moore now in the park view. Ramon Guillen needs to remain on your prayer list today. Patricia and Stanley Wilson. Ronnie Dent and Denise Coldiron. Keep on your prayer list those grieving the loss of a loved one recently, like the family of Donna Guerin, the uh, mother of our head football coach and athletic director, Lee Walker. Keep on your prayer list as well the family of Bobby McGee, the family of Curtis Martin, Ted Millen, Ramon Gabriel Franco, the family of Tabby Cantrell, the family of Alma Pearson and Jose Muniz, the family of Maddie Robertson, and the family of Eddie Bean, along with the family of Jerry Lionel Gleason. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News Program, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train News programs, always free of charge, on demand on our website, MuleShoeTV.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page or our Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter channels as well. I'm Tumbleweed Smith. The terror trails near Yantis. Details in a moment on The Sound of Texas. The Sounds of Texas is brought to you here on AW Broadband Channel 6 and at MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe at 610 East American Boulevard as well as in Morton at 1744 State Highway 114. They are celebrating rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric since 1939. They are owned by the members they serve. Call 806 272 4504. Check them out online at bcecoop.com. The board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle. All hope that you enjoy the Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. This is our gingerbread house. We actually are using more projectors now. Here we have a witch in the window. And she's stirring up her brew. Terror Trails is a combination haunted trail and haunted house near Yantis. It's open weekends in October. On our uh, busiest weekends, we'll have um, more than a thousand people on uh, Saturday nights. Gary Hughes owns Terror Trails. He runs it with a staff of more than 50 people. There's at least an hour and a half wait on our busiest nights. But no one seems to matter. They're with their friends. They're having fun cutting up the place has been scaring people for 20 years we're like a family tradition now you know they come out and every year the same families come out and you know have fun together and that's what i've always wanted to do is just make sure that it's a a nice place for families to come and enjoy themselves for the evening terror trails has some sophisticated electronics my background is in Lighting. We used to do entertainment lighting for discotheques and roller skating rinks and that kind of stuff. So I'm really into electronics. I enjoy twisting wires. It is a scary place. You really can't tell who you can scare or not. 
our toughest customer is 13 year old male you know nothing scares me and you'll see full-grown big old cowboys <laughs> you know <laughs> just you know, running like little girls while people wait they can watch scary movies and eat pizza i mean we have people come out and eat pizza that don't go through the trails or the house. <laughs> so, <laughs> Gary greets his customers with a poem. Welcome to Terror Trails. We've been expecting you for dinner. Say you don't want to stay for a ghoulish banquet? Then here's a little poem that will help you through. Listen close, or you'll be on the menu. On the trail, a guide rope you will follow. Stop and turn around, and you'll be swallowed. Move as a group. You must cluster. Divide and stray, and you'll be served with mustard. Hands and fingers are a ghoul's favorite snack. Touch one, and you may not get it back. <laughs> Gary Hughes shares his profits with various groups around Yantis. He has a website. Paratrails.com. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas. <laughs>